Hi guys, this is Graeme here from Bainbridge Technologies, with a specialist in everything to do with DC. Um, today I'd like to discuss with you um, the features and benefits of this fantastic new piece of equipment that Bainbridge has just released. Um, this is our 150 amp hour battery with an internal DC to DC charger, but not just any internal DC to DC, it also has quite a few other features that you wouldn't get out of any other product on the market. So if, let's just touch on that firstly, the DC to DC charger. So you'll notice that there's actually four terminals on this battery, whereas most batteries just have a positive and a negative. The reason this has the four is it has your input, so from your cranking battery or starter battery into this battery, then it goes into the charger and then from the charger to the battery cells, from the battery cells out. So this is where all your loads, such as your fridges and devices that you want to run off of it will be connected to. So the DC to DC side of things. So quite simply, when you turn the battery on, this will give you the indication of the actual voltage and the status of the battery. So the battery and then you've got the health uh, of the battery and state of charge around the outside like a fuel gauge so to speak. So 13.3 to 13.5 is, is 100%. So this is um, just under that 100% but it's, it's still a fully charged battery. So connecting up your DC to DC you would have um, a cable obviously running from the positive of your starting battery which is obviously where the alternator is connected to. Um, from there you would run through your vehicle obviously if this is going to be I would presume say let's say for this instance it's in the back of your car so the battery cable running through from the front to the back so you want to make sure you've got the right size cable for the length you're using as well that's that's an imperative uh, important piece of the uh, the equation so once you've done that, that positive and negative from your front battery would then be connected to these two smaller terminals here, which are marked input, um, your DC to DC charger side. So they would go into there. So when you also then want to have this uh, charger to charge the battery, you'll notice there's actually a little button here. So this little section here dictates the charger or the input side of the battery. There's a direction in and out. Now the in is purely there to say the voltage is coming into the battery, into the charger to charge this battery. A unique feature of this particular battery and charger is that we can actually charge from this battery back up to the starter battery. So for instance, if you've been away camping overnight, you've left the doors open because you've had your stereo or music playing around your campsite, forgotten to turn it off, or the interior light's been on, you get up in the morning, want to either leave or go for a drive, and click, 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 your starter battery's dead. So ultimately, back in the day, you would have another vehicle with a set of jumper leads, put it onto the battery and crank start it. So what we can do with this little device is actually click this direction to out, which means the charger now is charging out, not in. So you'll notice that this little green status light will come on as well. So this is showing you that the actual charger is activated from um, the voltage of the battery internally. So now we can supply charging at 20 amps back up to the starting battery. So you don't turn the car on and don't try and start the car in any way or form. You literally just flick that button. So like you would do, um, jumping a car by a set of jumper leads, you would jump start the car and then once the car's running, obviously disconnect the jumper leads uh, and that car then can be taken away and driven away. You would leave your car idling for say 10 or 15 minutes and then you would quite easily be able to turn the ignition off and then start the car by of its own accord. So what we can do from this device is actually replicate what you would be doing from a jump starter. So it doesn't mean turning this on and then trying to jump start your car because that's not what we're talking about. What we would do is turn this to the output, leave it on for say 15 minutes so it puts enough current from this battery back into your starter battery so that then when you do want to go to jump start it, you would then literally come back here, turn that off then jump start your car and start your car vehicle because there'll be enough charge in your starting battery for it. So a fantastic feature to have. It's just a bit of peace of mind to let you know that you do actually have, um, you know, that you can utilize that power because that's one thing a lot of, uh, and any other lithium battery on the market because they're not starting batteries or cranking batteries and the internal BMS is rated to 100 amp. Obviously you need a lot more than 100 amp current to be able to start a car. And that's the difference between a cranking battery and a uh, deep cycle battery. So a fantastic feature to have in emergency purposes. Um, uh, and as I said, also you can utilize that then to, to charge other small batteries up on the go. If you had like a small battery for a, um, a jet ski or, or a motorbike or something like that and you're stuck and you could you do the same sort of features of that, you could actually put the leads onto that, to that charger and then use that as a bit of a charger. So it basically becomes a portable 20 amp charger because the, the actual internal 
DC to DC in this particular battery is a 20 amp charger. So that's a fantastic feature, but as I said, nine times out of 10, you would have it just sitting on the in, which means that the current's going into the battery. Now, the second button you'll see on this actual um, bottom of the battery here in the charger side of things says EXT shunt. Now that means external shunt, yes or no. So in this current configuration, you would have it leave, left as no, which means that these two um, terminals here are actually connected on the input side of things. Um, so your negative is common on both of those. Now, if for you people that do want to run uh, a battery monitor or monitor your actual system in your vehicle, um, such as like the Victron BMV range, the BMV 700, the 702 or the 712 if you want the smart Bluetooth version, um, they all come with an external or a shunt. So that's how you measure your current and the, the amps which are being um, utilised from the battery, either going in or going out from the battery. So what you would normally do with a battery with, with, uh, with your loads is you would go from um, the negative output of your battery into the input side or the source side of the shunt and then on the out other end of the shunt you would go to your loads which is then the negative out to all your devices and, and equipment that you're running. On this you can simply go yes I do want to run an, an external shunt so what I do is click that to yes and then I would put that shunt between these two poles here so this would be your input side of the shunt and this would be the load side of the shunt so you're basically just joining that together so it means you don't have to take the loads off of this and then connect to the shunt they're all on here together and then what's just measuring then between the two is the actual current that's going between the two so obviously it's going to show you uh, what sort of current you're pulling out of your battery and then how long you can work out how long you've got to go and uh, state of charge so another unique feature but obviously in normal circumstances you would click that to no if you're not running uh, a shunt for uh, measuring uh, your voltage or anything and your amp um, so leave that to no and leave that to in so like I explained before in charge out charge so quite simply, you don't have to have this actual on and off switch turned on or off, so to speak. Um, that purely there is just to turn the monitor off. So if you're leaving this battery um, disconnected or you're parked up for six months or something like that, you don't need want to have that on because obviously that's going to be drawing current over that period of time and will obviously put a load on your battery. So this switch is fish physically just turning this monitor on and off, so to speak. Um, you'll notice then on the load on the output side, you have a fused and an unfused uh, section here on the positive. So all your loads would be connected to the fused side. Uh, nothing gets connected to this. So this is just an extra bit of protection. Um, with lithium batteries, um, they are limited by the amount of constant load and current you can put out of the battery by their internal BMS or the battery monitoring system internally. This one can flow 100 amp continuous. So there's a 100 amp fuse on there. So for instance, if somebody comes along, plugs in their 2000 watt inverter, which is gonna draw you know, 160, 180 amps or so, um, you're looking at turn around saying, well, mate, that's, that's not gonna happen. So rather than blowing up your BMS, it'll just blow the fuse. It just saves you having to put a fuse in line um, externally from this. Obviously you would put a fuse with your device but this is just fusing the battery to protect you from those loads uh, and the current that's being drawn from the lithium battery. So quite a simple, easy thing to use. As I said, it's really no different than your standard battery, positive and negative, other than the fact that you've got these inputs here to run into your DC to DC. And as I said, that unique feature of being able to reverse that charge. So quite um, all in all, a fantastic battery. As I said, this one's rated to 150 amp hour. So, I mean, you can run these down to 100%, which will give you 150 amps. Um, we say, you know, if you want the battery to last that little bit longer, take it to 80% depth of discharge. Um, so therefore then you're still getting, you know, around that sort of 130 odd amps out of the battery, um, which is equivalent to around a 200 odd amp hour plus in an AGM battery but the other main benefit and feature of that is how light it is so this is a fully functional um, battery and it weighs just under 15 kilos around about 14.8 kilos the conventional AGM style of battery for this sort of current would be closer to 50 kilos from 47 to 50 kilos so quite a substantial weight loss um, which is fantastic for most modern vehicles because you know it's quite easy to load them up with more and more and more gear these days and then once you put the trailer on the back you're suddenly up over your uh, GMV of your vehicle um, but it also makes the vehicle um, 
you know, operate a lot better too if you haven't got heavy weights in the back of the car bouncing over down on the back and putting the extra uh, loads and spring on springs and so forth. So nice and lightweight at um, just under 15 kilos and compact size. So as I said, a conventional AGM battery would generally be um, uh, nearly double the length uh, and probably about half the width again of this battery as well. So you're compact in size, but you're also compact in weight, which is a major benefit. So um, as I said, we've got these available in 110 amp hour, a 150 amp hour, and a 225 amp hour battery, as well as our um, Slimline series as well, which also has a, um, a version of with or without DC to DC. So fantastic piece of equipment, and uh, I'm sure it will be a benefit to anybody's camping um, setup that they have. So if you need any more information, please feel uh, free to contact us in the office. Uh, the details will be on this website. So. Thanks for now and uh, happy camping.